Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve absolute value equations with variables on both sides. Let's jump into our example where we have the absolute value of 3x minus 1 equals x plus 13. Now when we have an absolute value equation with variables on both sides, we still solve it the same way basically as any other absolute value equation. We isolate the absolute value and then we write two equations. Now for this example, our absolute value is isolated. So now we need to write two equations, one equal to a positive and one equal to a negative. For this equation, the absolute value doesn't just equal a number, it equals x plus 13. Don't let that hold you up. We can still write two equations, one equal to a positive and one equal to a negative. So we have 3x minus 1 equals x plus 13, that's our positive equation, or 3x minus 1 equals negative, and then we have x plus 13. Now you'll notice I have x plus 13 within parentheses, and that negative goes on the outside of the parentheses. That's because it's applied to everything on that side of the equation. So make sure to use parentheses and a negative outside of the parentheses. Again, that way the negative is applied to everything on that side of the equation. Now that we have our two equations, we can solve. So let's start with 3x minus 1 equals x plus 13. Now remember, when we have an equation with variables on both sides, we want to get the variable on one side of the equation, and then we can look to solve. Let's start by getting the variable on one side of the equation. So let's subtract x from the right side. That means we need to subtract x from the left side as well. So looking at the right side, these x's cancel each other out, so we are left with 13, and then on the left side, 3x minus x, we can subtract those like terms. That gives us 2x, and then we have minus 1. Now we have 2x minus 1 equals 13, so we need to look to isolate that variable of x. Let's undo the subtraction now, so let's add 1 to the left side. That means we need to add 1 to the right side as well. As far as the left side, these ones cancel each other out. So we have 2x equals, and then on the right side, 13 plus 1 gives us 14. So now we have 2x equals 14. So 2 times x equals 14. Let's undo that multiplication by dividing. So divide the left side by 2 and divide the right side by 2. These 2s cancel each other out. So x is now isolated, x equals, and then on the right side, 14 divided by 2 gives us 7. So x equals 7. Now let's solve our negative equation. And the first thing that we need to do is distribute the negative to what's inside the parentheses. So to x and 13. Now, as far as distributing this negative, let's think of this as negative 1. So we are distributing negative 1 to x and 13. So negative 1 times x and negative 1 times 13. That gives us 3x minus 1 equals negative x minus 13. Our next step is to get the variable on one side of the equation. So let's add x to the right side of the equation. That means we need to add x to the left side as well. These x's cancel each other out. So we have negative 13 on the right side. And then on the left side, we can combine those like terms. So we have 3x plus x. That gives us 4x. So we have 4x minus 1 equals negative 13. So now we need to look to isolate that variable of x. Let's add 1 to the left side of the equation. That means we need to add 1 to the right side as well. 
these ones cancel each other out. So we have 4x equals, and then on the right side, negative 13 plus 1 gives us negative 12. And now we have 4x equals negative 12. So let's divide both sides by 4 in order to isolate x. These 4s cancel each other out. So x is now isolated, x equals, and then on the right side, negative 12 divided by 4 gives us negative 3. So x equals negative 3. And those are our two solutions, 7 and negative 3. Now let's check those solutions by plugging them back into the original equation. Let's start by plugging in 7. So we have the absolute value of 3 times 7 minus 1 equals 7 plus 13. And then as far as plugging in negative 3, we have the absolute value of 3 times negative 3 minus 1 equals negative 3 plus 13. Let's start by checking our solution of 7. So we have the absolute value of 3 times 7 minus 1. 3 times 7 is 21, minus 1 is 20. The absolute value of 20 is 20. So we have 20 equals, and then on the right side, 7 plus 13 is 20. So we have 20 equals 20. That is true, so we are correct there. x equals 7. As far as negative 3, we have the absolute value of 3 times negative 3 minus 1. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, minus 1 gives us negative 10. The absolute value of negative 10 is 10. As far as the right side, we have negative 3 plus 13. That equals 10 as well. So we have 10 equals 10, which is true, so we are correct there as well. x equals negative 3. So our two solutions, 7 and negative 3. So there you have it. There's how to solve an absolute value equation with variables on both sides. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.